God bless you this morning. God bless you this morning. I'm excited this morning. You should be excited too. My God, if you can see me, you can hear me. Can you smell this morning? Are you breathing this morning? My God, you should be excited too. I'm excited what God is doing in my life. I am content in where God have me. My God, I may not have the best house. I may not have the best apartment. I may not have the best house. I may not have the best wife or husband. My children may not be the best children in the world, but I am content where God have me. I got to make it happen where God got me. I can't be looking at my neighbor's stuff because the Bible said don't cover your neighbor's stuff. I don't want my neighbor's stuff. I want God what God has for me. Isn't that good news? So I've learned to be content. And that's what we're going to talk about today a little bit. Well, I want to answer a question that people have been asking me, Pastor, are you getting the COVID shot? And I just want to let people know that it's personal. When you ask people that, it's really personal. Uh, and since it's all out there where people's asking everybody and everybody's is trying to get opinion, well, believe me, I'm not trying to persuade you to get it or not to get it. I know what I'm going to do and I know what I'm not going to do. And I'm not going to get the COVID shot. I'm not going to get it because uh, if I feel the way I feel at this age. Uh, I don't want to put anything in my body that can make things start happening and wrong. That's just my opinion. Now, if you're older or you're elder and, and you've got some issues going on, that might be the best thing for you. And if you want to get your whole family uh, that, but you have to understand 500,000 people have died with the COVID more than any war. And God have looked at you and said, not you not you. So don't lose your faith now. If God not took you through a whole year of the COVID, don't run out on him now, believing that man going to take care of it. Man is not going to do anything. We all have a number, my God. And well, pastor, you know, you could die. Well, here's the thing. You guys go ahead and bury me, continue going to Walmart, continue your party, woo -woo, like y'all going to do, because I've watched a lot of people die. Life don't chop, stop because you die. It keeps going on. Isn't that good news? I want to give a shout out to my church, uh, One Lord, One Spirit Outreach Ministry. I thank God for you, how we are a revolving door, how we all are helping each other. My church is buying new houses uh, with the COVID. My church is buying new cars. We're paying our bills. We're being good stewards with our money. And that's what the Bible said. Let me read this in your hearing. This comes out of Philippians chapter 4, verse 11. This is Paul talking. Uh, it says, I am... Not saying this because I am in need. I have learned to be content, underlying content, of whatever circumstance. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I've learned the secret, secret, underlying secret, of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, living in plenty or living in want. I can do all this through him, Jesus Christ, God, who gives me strength, that gives me strength. Isn't that good news? That's good news. And so that's where we have to be at. We have to be content where you are. I know that house is a two bedroom and you got four kids and a husband and you've been complaining about you need a bigger house. You throw some fabulosas around in that house, throw some bleach in that house, love on your husband, love on them children, be content in that house until God bless you according to Matthew 6 33 give you a desire I know you looked outside you got that little hoopty out there but if somebody is walking come on somebody somebody is walking to the uh, bus stop complaining but somebody don't have no legs come on somebody somebody you complain about that house that you want to get but somebody is under the bridge last night you was talking about uh, what you gonna eat today somebody didn't eat yesterday at all so we're blessed Paul said be content where you are. I'm content where I am. I love what God have done for me in my life. You should be uh, excited about what God is doing in your life. Isn't that good news? So what we must do is be content where you are. That's good news. And we have to understand God is always blessing us, but we, didn't give, we don't give him no credit. Even what the government is doing with the stimulus check. I don't talk on people's money. That's your money. If you want to take it and pay your bills and get ahead and put you something up, my God, I applaud you. 
And if you want to take your money and go woo woo and blow it all away and, and 4th of July, you ain't got no money, that's on you too. Because what? I have to be content in what God is doing in my life. Whatever you do, that's on you. This is 2021. You better get up, make it happen. My God, woulda, shoulda, and coulda went out the window in 2020. This time to get up and make something happen. Isn't that good news? Paul said be content. And that's the way I want you to be. Be content in life. Because God takes care of us when we don't think so. Isn't that good news? Will you guys be blessed out there? One Lord, one spirit outreach. I love you guys. Take this word and run with it. Don't worry about where you are. You're in a good place. God got you. He have took care of you all the way. I don't care if you're five years old. He allowed you five years to live. And that's a blessing. Some parents right now is going through the loss of a, a, a loved one. Some, uh, some families is going through loss of a daughter or son this morning. You are blessed this morning. Don't, tell, don't let nobody tell you you're not blessed. You are blessed. So be content. Isn't that good news? God bless you all. Be blessed out there. Wear your mask so we can get this over with. And make a decision on your life whether you want to take the shot or not. That's your body. You make the decision. God bless you.